Good morning and welcome to the channel. This is Lunar Goddess Tarot, formerly Divine Truth Tarot. As most of you know, if you've been following my videos recently, I've done a lot of focus on the Divine Feminine and the shifts that he or she is going through. <clears throat> that being said, I am no stranger to these shifts. So for a while now, I've been called to change the name of the channel and even change up the way I do things. Less focus on the Divine Masculine and what they're doing in the 3D physical world and more focus on the Divine Feminine <clears throat> in her ascension, her growth, her expansion, her mission and her sovereignty. So that's really becoming very, very, very clear now as I get deeper into my own shift here. And you know, we have reversed roles and the feminine is now acting as quote unquote the runner and the masculine is acting as quote unquote the chaser. I don't particularly like those labels, but that's sort of what we know in the twin flame community. We're actually both runners, right? The chaser is still the runner. So until you come into that alignment and that divine union, you're both actually running from either yourself really yourself. <laughs> um, you're running from each other. You're running from yourself. You're running from your fears. You're running from um, your triggers. You're just running. So we're both actually the runners at this time, but it will appear in the 3D like the feminine is the one running to the masculine. Okay. So the masculine is going through a lot of deep, heavy emotions at this time. And the feminine is the one sort of just sitting back, not reflecting as much, perhaps just really, really tuned in to the channel that she's currently on, which is the channel other divine feminines are on. Uh, I'm finding that a lot of us first waivers are feeling very disconnected or detached at this time, almost to the point of some of you have expressed wanting to walk away, which of course we can't officially walk away, right? This, you are you are your twin you are one soul and two separate physical bodies but there is this sort of need to really separate yourself and to get back to you and that's what i'm really hearing from a lot of you who have emailed me and reached out recently so the ten of swords comes up as the overall energy this is coming up in personal readings as well this is the end of something the end of something that was challenging especially mentally challenging something that um weighed heavily on one's mind and this can cause confusion, this can cause fear, this can cause anxiety, depression. You know, this comes after the Nine of Swords, which is the card of insomnia and absolute, you know, just anxiety, sleepless nights, devastation. Embrace the change and expect things to get better now. So this can also mean for some of the masculines who are recovering from an addiction or the masculine energy within yourself recovering from <clears throat> some sort of an addiction. Interesting little throat chakra glitch there. <clears throat> It only happens when I do readings, believe it or not. So Ten of Swords. So what about the overall energy for the feminines? The feminine collective. The moon. So you're very tuned in and tapped into the moon cycles, first of all. Second of all, feminine, you are also potentially tapped into the illusion at this time, as the runner typically is. So there could be some things that you're not seeing clearly, uh, I feel like the Scorpio moon is going to help clear that because Scorpio is all about truth. Scorpio does not like superficial uh, conversation, superficial, how's the weather, how are you? Scorpio wants to know, but how are you really doing? What are you really thinking? So we're going to get into the meat, like the nitty gritty details of this journey. Okay, so whatever is being reflected right now, Scorpio, in the physical back to you by your counterpart, there's a lot more going on than you're realizing. I did a reading for myself yesterday, and uh, I'm actually going to share that over on Patreon because, and I just realized I, <laughs> um, okay, I may not be able to share it because I realized I just shuffled the deck. Okay, well, if I can remember the cards, or I may just do another reading over there, um, scratch that for now, but I wanted to share, and the moon was one of the cards I got for the feminine, so it's interesting this is coming up for me and for the collective, and it's just saying that we're not seeing things clearly, like what is your counterpart when I tell you you're not seeing things clearly, and that's okay, the feminine's in a little bit of distortion regarding the connection at this time, so the masculine energy. The masculine energy is in the death and rebirth energy and the six of cups. Yes, this, these are the cards that are coming up. So we do have themes, guys, major themes, more than I've ever seen before in my readings. 
themes that are spanning not just the collective readings I'm doing, but also the personal readings. So the masculine is going through or releasing something. This is the number 13, the Scorpio energy. So something is being released so that something else can begin. Um, spiritual transformation is occurring for the feminine, but this was for the masculine energy too. So the masculine energy is going through this significant spiritual rebirth, awakening, transformation, depending on where they were at previously. Some of them are just awakening for the first time. Some of them are starting to step away from organized religion and starting to really think for themselves as far as what does this what does this all mean? What is this all for? What am I here for on this planet, right? So the masculine is really digging deep. That was the message I got last night was the masculine's really digging deep into his, his why. Why am I here? Okay. What, what, what am I here to accomplish? I, he wants to move on from things that are trivial and that includes relationships. That includes ego-based connections. If you guys think that your masculine is out there still like philandering around or um you know is out there hoeing around they're not they're actually many of them are actually um keeping to themselves intimately many of them are just choosing to completely withdraw from intimacy because they're getting intimate with the divine that's the message that's coming through really strongly so they're not they're not putting their energy and attention and time and love into another person right now they're actually putting that into themselves and they realize how much they gave away, how much they gave away their power, their energy, their time, their love to the wrong people. I say wrong people loosely because those were the karmic lessons they came here to learn. So those people serve purposes, of course. This is not about putting down the karmic partners. We don't do that on this channel. I actually have a lot of respect for my masculine's <clears throat> ex-wife, karmic partner, because she taught him things that I couldn't teach him. Okay. Yes, they were painful lessons. Yes, uh, it, it seemed to delay union in the, th the 3D, right? It seems to delay our union, but those people serve a significant purpose. And uh, I have the utmost respect for that purpose that she served and for her releasing him. So the masculines are being released by the karmic partners at this time. And I, like I said before, I truly feel it's the karmic partners that are the, that are the ones that are releasing the masculine. So even if the masculines initiated, let's say the divorce or separation, it's actually the karmic partners that are the ones doing the physical releasing, which is exactly what it needed to be. Because that means it's going to be long lasting, okay? That it's going to, it's going to absolutely stick. So now we have the six of cups also for the masculines that wanted to come out as an energy that is currently surrounding them. So the masculines are definitely in some nostalgic energy for the feminines. They're, they're remembering, they're reminiscing, they're feeling the feminines very strongly right now. And um, I feel like the masculines, it's the mirror effect that's going on right now. The masculines think the feminines have let go and the feminines think the masculines have let go. So it's like the ma both of you are trying to protect yourself from the other person ending the connection. So the, the feminine's like, nope, okay, they ended it. Um, so I should end it. I should be done with it. I should walk away. And the masculine's thinking the same thing. Well, she's not reaching out anymore. She's not reassuring me. She's not reminding me of, you know, how incredible I am or of how much she loves me. And so, you know, in fact, she's gone silent. So he's sort of grieving the loss of what was, but you're doing the same thing, feminine. So you're both sort of in a little bit of egoic distortion regarding what is going on and what the other person is doing. Things are not what they seem, feminine. Remember, the moon is here to tell you that there are some illusions afoot and that you wanna just be careful with those because those illusions will drive you crazy. So it's less about what you're thinking, okay? And it's more, give your mind a rest, 10 of swords, give that mind a rest, and it's more about what you're feeling. All right, Spirit, can you please guide us to a card that is going to clarify, clarify the Ten of Swords, please. Yeah, so there's a release here of the devil energy. There's, there's the ending of something that caused one or both of you to be in this sort of distorted energy of being entangled with the wrong people, the, you know, the substance abuse, um, just just de self-defeating thoughts and patterns 
um, distractions that kept you from pursuing your mission, for, kept you also from your counterpart. You know, this journey is, is not without outside or external influences. It can be in the form of people. It can be in the form of things that are not people. I don't get into that on this channel. There are other readers who do, but there are definitely influences that have been surrounding the twins for quite some time that have made it very challenging or difficult for both of them to keep the hope, keep the faith alive and to see clearly. So moving from the devil energy, moving into the strength energy, two major arcanas. So the universe is helping both of you to shift from this energy of distortion, of distraction, of really self-harm and self-betrayal to this energy of gaining inner strength. And this inner strength is what's required for both of you to move forward and move on from this, the illusions that were playing out in your 3D lives. So Spirit, can you tell me the feminine as she goes through this shift, what does she most need to know about her energy right now? What does the feminine most need to know? that it's important that you trust what your the thoughts that are coming through right now are actually very clear they're going to clear with this full moon in scorpio so they're starting to become more pure okay they're they're starting to you're starting to clear away the cobwebs in the mental space and get away from any illusions that may have been present and in your visual or auric field or you know, mental field, emotional field, spiritual field, physical field. And your, your mental field is, is getting really sharp and crisp is what I'm hearing. The night of air is the fastest moving night in the deck. So this does indicate fast moving energy towards the direction of your dreams or your goals. And then you have the dreamer card. So what you need to know, Feminine, is that that which you desire is within your reach and it does require a significant leap of faith at this time. So making those changes. So maybe you want to start making those changes slowly, but start to really follow your heart, like changing the name of my channel. That was me following my heart. That was me taking a leap of faith that this is the right thing to do. The Knight of Swords uh, is decisive. Like I said, crisp and clear in his thoughts and his ideas and his convictions. He knows what he wants. He's not floundering around. He's not like hemming and hawing. He's not like, oh, maybe this or maybe that, or I don't know. He knows exactly what he wants. And that sword of truth that he carries can slash through any deception, okay, any distraction of the mind or otherwise in the form of people in the form of emotions anything that threatens to take him off his path he's got that sort of truth that will reveal to him what the true path is so that he won't where you guys have felt like you may have gotten off the path or your masculine got off the path like you may a lot of you may have felt like you were headed towards union and then all of a sudden you felt like wait a minute, we're now we're diverging away from union. Why did we come so close to union just to have it taken away? You're going to be receiving a lot of clarity and answers and things that are going to happen with, with um, the quickness, okay? Things that are going to happen very quickly. So let's get some cards for the masculine. So the masculine energy spirit, the masculine energy, what do they most need to know? And remember, this is your internal and external energy as well. So the Eight of Cups, yes, there is this sadness. Yeah, Eight of Cups and Six of Cups. There's this sadness surrounding you. When they think of you, when they have thoughts of you, there's a sadness. There's a feeling like you have walked away and or they have to walk away. This is a theme that's coming up as well. Um, the Eight of Cups indicates, you know, like I've done all I can. Um, and now I just need to move in a different direction. And that's scary to the masculine to see, they feel you or see you turning your back on them. And this is you, you are the high priestess and they feel like you no longer trust them or you no longer think that this union is possible. And so they're also beginning to feel like initially the masculine is feeling helpless or hopeless, but they're going to be the ones now that are going to have to restore the hope and faith and the connection. And I know we always hear that it's the feminine, the feminine, the feminine. It's actually the masculine's role at this time 
to restore that faith. So the masculine may be struggling with this initially because they're used to you holding the faith. They're used to you reaching out. They're used to you being the one to sort of hold the line, right? Toe the line. And now you are stepping back and you're asking them, hey, I need to see, I need to see you take the lead and take control. And that's really what the feminine energy is wanting right now. So where can you take control or take the lead in your own life, feminine? Because that's what your inner feminine is wanting as well. So the masculine energy, yeah, they see you going to some sort of a hermit. Like they, they, they know that you're quiet. They know that you're keeping to yourself and be very private right now. But they also are respecting your wishes. They see the masculine energy thinks that they're respecting your wishes when they stay away sometimes. Well, I'm just respecting what you wanted. And the feminine says, well, I never said that I didn't want you in my space. I just wanted a certain healed version of you to come forward. So again, I feel like if the masculine energy is not in a healed place, that they're not necessarily being invited to come forward. So both of you are sort of perceiving the other to be in this hermit energy. But this is, again, about spiritual transformation. This is about... Um, both of you going through significant changes. We do have the lovers that just popped out. So the masculine is absolutely thinking about you. You've got the high priestess and the lovers. The masculine's thinking about the feminine. They're thinking about you like 24 seven. And I feel like it's even annoying them in a sense because they're like, why can't I just you know, move on? Why can't I just um, go back to being me, which is what the feminine's also thinking. Why can't I just go back to being who I was before I even learned about this journey or this connection? But you want to take the lessons with you, but you want to just be yourself for a little while. So I think both counterparts are feeling that because you've both had to, de had to detach from some karmic situations that were sort of engulfing you. And now you want a breather maybe before you step towards or forward into this union. Feminine, yeah, you've got the fool, okay, and you've got the courage card. You're being asked to have some courage right now. You are being asked to trust in the divine because I know things don't necessarily, again, the moon card, things don't necessarily look the way you want them to right now. Things, there's some distortion energy uh, in the cards, right, in the mix. But I want you to understand that things are about to become very clear once you take that leap of faith. Get some energy for the masculine. The more you can take that leap of faith in your physical world, feminine, the more the masculine is going to be drawn to come forward to you in the physical world. Yeah, look, going forward. I just said moving forward. So the feminine's being asked to have courage, and that's leading the masculine forward. That is absolutely instilling hope and conviction in the masculine energy of the masculine counterpart. So feminines, courage is required at this time. A leap of faith is required. And this, there might be some resistance to this leap of faith for both of you. But the masculine isn't looking back anymore. They're no longer dwelling in the past or dwelling in what was. The masculine is now moving forward and connecting to his or her future or pre you know present and future it's they're no longer living in the past and releasing um that codependency they had to the past and that people in the past and also releasing huge releases for the masculine energy in terms of their belief systems look release the cards are reflecting what I'm saying. They are releasing. Okay, I feel like significant shifts and changes are happening in the spring, just as I predicted last fall. Just because you can't see them necessarily in the 3D doesn't mean they're not happening. Things are shifting and happening behind the scenes at great speed. The masculines are moving forward. They are releasing and they are continuing to release. This is that karmic release. The cycles are moving them forward. The wheel is spinning, moving them forward and bringing more abundance and joy and luck and, you know, just awareness into their lives uh, so that they can hold space for the feminine properly. 
they weren't able to hold space properly for the feminine energy before. They're working on that. They're learning that, okay? They're releasing. As they release, they create space for you. They create space for love. They create space to trust again. And I want you guys to know, I just read for a client who's in his 70s yesterday, and I felt like that was so such a tremendous honor for to be able to tap into twins of all ages. His story is very unique, and I just was so honored to know that I've read from twins that are in co you know their college years and their early 20s or even high teens all the way up to 70s and 80s. So we are here, we are spanning the globe in all different countries and cities and states and locales and you know we are zip codes, different skin color, different culture, different religion, different height, right? Different weight, different eye color, different everything and we we are in this together. We are in this together. It's important that we embrace that togetherness at this time. All right, so interesting. Look at this, guys. This is powerful stuff. Look, energy for the connection. Forgiveness, freedom. Forgiveness and freedom. I knew forgiveness was going to come out because I kept seeing it while I was shuffling. And this has also been a major theme coming up right now. Forgiveness is necessary. If you're still holding on to the past, it's time to do some Ho'oponopono prayers and rituals to forgive everyone and everything because you've come so far feminine the whole world is taking notice of you and guys if you haven't watched my last video here on youtube talking about the feminine uh it was the divine feminine power message please watch it it was very powerful uh very one of the most powerful messages that i've channeled for the feminine collective and then i did do a letter from the df to the dm over on patreon that same day and it's available to all levels and all tiers and that was significant as well because it's the feminine really talking to the masculine and explaining and then coming to a realization about her actually being and then you have to watch it <laughs> i can't give it away but it was really the realization is, is powerful for the divine feminine to realize that things aren't always what they seem okay it's like where where we point fingers at our counterpart. That's where our work is done. That's where our lessons are. So yes, freedom. I'm telling you, look, moving, look, moving forward, release. This is a theme right now. You guys are freeing yourself from all karmic connections, influences, okay, from the devil energy. You're freeing yourself. You're gathering strength and courage, both of you, and you're releasing each other. You're forgiving each other. This freedom, okay, is bringing in a huge pleasure principle. Heed the pleasure principle. Enjoy the good things. Drink in the sweet nectar of life. Allow yourself to step forward and appreciate that life can be joyful, life can be happy, life can be exciting again. I really think the masculine energy, okay, in all of us is learning. Life can actually be fun. Life can be giddy. Life can be lighthearted. It doesn't have to be so serious. We don't have to focus on all of these material things. We can actually be really happy with just a few things. <coughs> and I think that this is something the masculine is realizing is that pleasure is not bought pleasure is created just like happiness and joy it can't be bought it's created within oneself okay where is this connection i love these cards where is this connection moving what about the energy moving forward it's protected there's a heavy look at this these are so accurate scarily accurate the, these connections are heavily protected at this time. Heavily protected. There is a significant, a sharp focus, like that Knight of Swords card here, right, for the feminines to take that leap of faith. Things are really starting to come into clarity. Both of you, the Snow Leopard spends really most of their lives solo after the age of two. And even after they, they meet a, a mate, the, the female is left alone after the basically the male mates with her and then leaves her and then she stays with the baby for about two years and then releases the baby and then goes about her soul away so snow leopards live in the high mountains of i know china and some other regions 
of the world. I think Serbia, maybe Russia, but they live in these very cold, just, just sort of empty, like empty of humans for sure areas where they spend the majority of their time with themselves alone. So this is what both counterparts are being asked to do at this time. As I've stated, the feminine is being asked and being told that she needs to go this path, this part of her journey, however temporary, however uh, short-lived alone. It could be a day, guys. It could be an hour. It could be a week. It could be months. It just depends on your connection and what you're called to do. But you're being divinely protected. Okay, The feminine is divinely protected and in this connection and relationship with the divine, but so is the masculine. Okay, So is the masculine energy. So you're both being protected and the masculine is being held back from coming forward at this time. Again, time is an illusion. Please don't attach to time. Please don't say, well, Sarah said this is just the current energy. This could shift in 30 seconds. This could shift later today. This could shift tomorrow. So this is just all I'm doing is tapping into the current energy. That's all. Please don't attach to this being final. Please don't attach to this being the only answer. And if it doesn't resonate or it doesn't fit, please don't make this your reading. That could do you more harm than good. Please don't do that. Just drop it, move on to the next one. Or, or drop the read, you know, just don't watch readings for a day. Come back tomorrow and see if it resonates. And I, I should probably start using the disclaimer that if you're already feeling triggered, you may not want to watch my readings because I don't sugarcoat. I do not sugarcoat. So transformation, yes, we know that this is happening. Cycles are ending, right? New Look, release, rebirth, death and rebirth, the phoenix rising, the metamorphosis of the butterfly, the shape shifting that's taking place right now within these connections to breed the change that needs to come, to, to create this change, to create this transformation for both counterparts so that both counterparts start to feel really, really solid in their own skin and really happy in their own lives. And then you guys will come together, your paths will collide again, your energy, your hearts will collide again. And it's gonna be so beautiful because you've both have this solid foundation that you created for yourselves and you can both share that with each other and say, look what I've created. I did this on my own, I'm so proud of myself, I'm so proud of you. And then you can start to blend your lives together and really come together in that beautiful, beautiful <clears throat> twin flame energy that lights up the entire world. We are doing so much work behind the scenes right now. In fact, I'm going to get a card here. <laughs> What's this? The chariot. I knew it. I knew it. Page of water kind of wanted to come out too, but yeah. So what are twins working on right now? They're working on moving things forward. They're working on really tapping into divine timing. Um, they're working on self-discipline and willpower. Metatron is an interesting archangel because he rules divine timing, but he also rules like organization and logic and helping you to get on the right track and helping you to really, really hone in and understand what it is that you truly desire and want and how to get there. So Archangel Metatron is guiding both twins at this time towards their future. This is all like very futuristic energy in the sense that you are, by transforming your present right now, you're actually transforming your future. You're actually creating more possibilities for the future. So I want to make that very clear to all of you that, again, nothing is set in stone and everything is changing very quickly within these connections on the drop of a dime, in fact. And just just don't, if you've gotten a reading in the past, which by the way, I've gotten a few, I don't really get readings anymore. Very, yeah, I haven't gotten a reading in quite a while actually, maybe like six months. But if you've gotten a reading and someone has told you this is not your twin flame or someone has told you you're never going to come into union or someone has told you even something not twin flame related. I was once called a wounded healer. Okay, that stuck with me for about 10 years. That was incorrect. I am a healed healer. I was never wounded. I don't like that term because then you attach to it. It's sort of like when you have an illness, you would, I have this, you're attaching that label to yourself. So you want to be so careful with labels. We want to be so careful with, um, you know, if somebody, if you've gotten that kind of a reading and someone has told you they can do a twin flame check, 
I don't think anyone, I don't personally believe that anyone else can do a twin flame check because this is your own soul and your own energy. How can they tap into your soul bond? There are times where it will come up in a reading where I will validate, yes, this is a twin flame connection, or yes, I see a soulmate coming in, but I do not allow people to ask that. If it comes up, it comes up because I just don't feel like that's my place or that's my job. So please take heart, guys. If you've had a shitty reading in the past from someone who's tried to tell you this isn't your twin, but you know and you feel in your heart of hearts that it is, or they try to tell you that union is not going to happen in this lifetime, I really want you guys to just clear those cords connecting you to that reading and that person, delete the reading, and really just cleanse your energy, right? Light some do some smudging, light some Palo Santo and some sage and really cleanse and clear your phone, right? Your computer, that space of that energy because either that person isn't a twin flame themselves or they're just projecting or it's not necessarily that they're trying to be nasty or mean or even evil. It's just that they just maybe don't have the knowledge of what this connection really is and what this means. So even though we're going through a challenging period and it looks like it's kind of ripe with strife right now between the counterparts because you're both sort of in this tug of war, feminine's holding back, the masculine's wanting to really reach the feminine and the feminine's like, I'm not available now. There's a bit of ego at play too where the feminine's like, well, you weren't available before, so how does it feel that I'm not available now? I have been picking up on that in the collective also. I asked, what, what does the masculine want to say to the feminine eight of wands? I'm coming. I'm coming, baby. I'm coming. Hold on. Don't give up on me. I'm on my way. I'm faster than you think. I'm, I'm delivering clarity. I'm coming with speed, with passion. I'm coming to you with, yeah, it's like there's so many things that the masculine wants to accomplish right now with you in this connection. There's so many things that they want to say. There's so many it's like they can't decide what they want to say first, what they want to do first. And again, the eight of wands, I still feel like this masculine could come forward, guys, and surprise the shit out of you and just show up at your job or your house, I'm telling you, with a bag, like a weekend bag, or I don't know, a week, week pat, you know, and just say, I'm whisking you away, or I'm staying with you, or I'm taking you to dinner, and we're having this romantic dinner, and I bought you a dress. I mean, sort of like pretty pretty woman style. I just see this masculine is really wanting to impress the feminine. But not in a way where he's, not in an egoic way. He just wants to impress her because he wants you to know that he's serious about making this commitment to you. And he wants you to know that you matter because he hasn't really been able to tell you properly in the past how much you matter to him. He sees you as his queen of wands. He sees you as this passionate woman of conviction, strong conviction, strong passion, um, somebody who is a go-getter, who doesn't require anyone else's approval, someone who goes after what she wants and stops at nothing to get there, okay? Someone who has lots of goals, but he also sees you as extremely so independent, right? Self-made, self-created, and he also sees you as this woman who's just like, how does she do that? How is she so creative? How is she so incredible? How is she also so warm and so kind? And he sees you, he's watching you from afar and he's watching you being so kind and helping other people. And he is blown away that you are his queen, that you are his counterpart. Like, I can't believe I get, I'm so lucky to have her. He's starting to back away from that, why did she choose me or why did, you know, why did he choose me? He's starting to back away from that and instead embrace the fact that, you know what, this is my divine counterpart. I do deserve him or her. So let's see what the feminine says in response and then we're going to close out this lovely reading. Three of Cups, the feminine says, just come in. I'm ready. I'm ready for that celebration. I'm ready to dance. I'm ready to, I'm ready for that engagement or that wedding. I'm ready for you to, let's party. You know, some of you are like, let's just party. Let's just enjoy life. Let's, let's stop pretending like we don't care about each other. Let's stop pretending like we're not meant to be together. And let's just enjoy this moment. Um, this is a card of celebration. 
the feminine is ready to have more fun. The feminine is like, I'm so tired of the seriousness in this connection. Let's lighten things up a little bit. So the feminine saying, the masculine saying, I'm coming, and the feminine saying, come on in, the water's warm. All right. And then for the union energy, renewal. There's a renewal, judgment. So judgment comes in to allow for both twins, again, to create self-redemption, forgiveness, okay, to forgive themselves, to forgive each other, and to come in and just sort of wipe the slate clean. No more, like we don't need to bring the past with us. All we need to do is move forward and recognize where we've been, but also where we're going. Most importantly, yes, where we've been, but most importantly, where are we going? Where are we headed? And that's why we have this energy of moving forward, of releasing something, because it's time to move forward. It's time to forgive, guys. It's time to stop holding on to any resentments that we have within ourselves or towards each other. So renewing the vows that we have made to each other, the ancient vows that the counterparts have made to one another, that is all currently happening behind the scenes in our hearts and in, in the connection, just because we're not seeing things. This is why it's important that I deliver these messages because just because you're not seeing things doesn't mean that things aren't happening underneath the surface. There's a lot of rumbling. There's a lot of passion and fire. There's a lot of emotions underneath the surface. We just have to sort of clear away the disillusionment that's muddied the waters recently. And I do strongly feel like this Scorpio full moon is going to do just that. So look forward to that Scorpio full moon video, either a uh, card reading or it will be a written reading, a channeled message, or maybe both. If I'm inspired, I'm so inspired. Take great care guys. And I hope you've enjoyed this video. If so, please give a like, subscribe to the channel. Make sure you hit the bell icon to receive all notifications. It really helps the channel. Just a simple like helps the channel. Subscribe helps the channel and helps more people find these videos who really could use the benefit and the guidance of my videos. So thank you so much for tuning in. I'll see you soon, guys. Take care.